just as we were getting ready to leave this morning from the Joliet Wall, this tug came through and we're all uh, detached from the wall and now spread across both sides of the river. Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000-mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Loop. Well, the tow went past and we are off and running. Joliet Wall to Heritage Harbor Marina. We are currently doing the lock dance. We've got 18 boats getting ready to go into the Brandon Road lock. And we had a plan all set. We were gonna bring the bigger boats in first and go onto the bollards and then have the smaller boats come in and wrapped up. And the lock master said, nope, we want all the smaller boats in first, all in the front row. So there they go right now. Since we left Juliet Wall before the sun was up this morning, it was still dark. I didn't realize that the trees along the wall had uh, littered the bow of our boat with a bunch of leaves. We're going to drop about 34 feet. They just closed the rear gate and this time we are rafted we're not against the lock wall we're rafted uh, along two other boats between us and the uh, wall you can see the uh, back gate closed back there now so we should start going down any minute go down about 40 feet and we're tied off to the floating bollard over here and Lucky and Chicklet next to us. Where are you guys from? Oh, I think I saw Tied that Mesa, Arizona, right? Yeah. Wow. That must have been hard to get anything from Mesa. There's the front row of our 16 <laughs> or so boats. They're all traveling together. There's Admiral Mel uh, doing first mate duties right now. I'm just hanging out supervising. What happened? What? Why did that happen? Why did five <laughs> boats go sideways in the lock? So we're in the Marseilles lock. Uh, this is the second leg of our trip. So we had just started and um, <clears throat> we were wrapped up against a boat to our starboard side. They were against the wall. We were at the very front of the lock. So the door was right in front of us. And uh, Karma's reward was uh, on the wall. Then we were rafted to them. And there was another boat rafted to us, so we were three wide. 
and then directly across from this on the port wall there was a the boat that was tied up to the wall had one two three i think it was uh, rafted to him they definitely had more than we had so we had three they had four i think right and so there wasn't much of a gap in the middle between uh, their row of rafting and our row of rafting <clears throat> and when the gates opened up or swung in anyway opened up it was very windy blowing in it got really really windy and i'm not sure exactly what happened but that boat that was tied up over on the port wall um, they came loose from the wall so that whole thing of four boats started swinging away from the wall like this and and we're right here we're you know well not our boat but the boat next to us is right here our boat here and then the then the third boat in the wall they started swinging out toward us and we're hurrying to t untie the boat that's on our left on our port side because we're watching through their boats seeing that whole four boats swing toward him and they pulled away just in time for that four boats to m swing past and miss him uh, yeah and uh, i don't think they would have hit us but we skedaddled out of there as quickly as we could and when we look back that had come completely sideways that whole flotilla of boats was completely sideways and i saw them untying each other i don't think there was any damage but it was it was it was wild. crazy yeah somebody was crazy i think the boat closest to the wall was yelling because they didn't want anybody to turn on the engines because they were being squished up against the wall <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know how it all happened but it was but we've been on the wall uh there was one marine or one lock we were in where we were on the wall and we had at least three boats yeah tied up to us and it was windy and we were fighting to keep our boat they from swinging well. out yeah and, uh, we were asking boats outboard of us to turn their engines on and, and bump us forward to get us straight again. It was um, tough. And we didn't get, it, it wasn't communicated or they just didn't want to do it. Yeah, and they figured it'd be we fine. Were, we were very nervous about, about what was going to happen to our boat because it swung out um, and it looked like we were going to be hitting our dinghy or our swim step possibly because mm. we swung out so much just on the just on the stretch of our lines that we were tied with. Yeah, that's when it was really windy and the winds calmed down quite a bit. As you can see, it's a lot different experience when the wind is not crazy blowing like that. 